Hey students, this is Mr. Anderson here. Uh, we're going to go over on how to make uh, the isometric drawing for problem 6-4. Um, it will, or it should, look something similar to this. Um, you could have it going this way instead of this way, but this is just the, uh, the way that I chose to draw it. But um, we will start from the beginning. Um, First off, you probably would not have your snap uh, set up like this, uh, your your grid lines. So this is how we would uh, go back to standard. This is what your grid line would normally look like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete that so that that doesn't uh, mess with anybody. So then we would type in SN for snap, to hit enter. Then we would, we can arrow down, and you'll see style down here. You can also get to that by typing S, and then hit enter. And then you want isometric. I just hit the down arrow key, and enter. And then the uh, vertical spacing ten was was uh, set up for the uh, the drawing earlier. So there's our our platform there so next I like to be able to uh, have a center line there we go and I'm going to go down from there to right there, just so I know where the middle of that line is. So next, we're going to do ellipse, E-L. There's ellipse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Haven't done a whole lot of talk in the last couple of days. Okay, end point of the ellipse. And then we're going to... Tell it, I believe, 350, so I think we need to hit D for diameter. No. Let me do this again, because that's what I didn't do, was isocircle. EL, ellipse, we down arrow, that gives me the isocircle command. So, find the center. And tell diameter. Pardon the dings. And then we tell it 350. Okay. So that can be our base. Let's go ahead and uh, offset these guys. Okay. So what we're going to do now is copy and in a straight line we're going to copy one that's going to be seventy five and then another that's going to be two hundred so there's our base. Now, next thing I'm going to do is do this right here. We've got to draw our edges. And I can just as easily copy that line to right there. Now, Next, we're going to draw the 200 diameter. So, I 
Makes a circle. Specify center. Diameter. 200. Okay, now that one we can copy 125 down. Okay. Now the other thing I can do on the center line of that one and then at that point I can draw the 100 diameter. So, ellipse, down arrow, Oops, down arrow, isocircle, center, it's right there, diameter, 100, and I don't think I need to copy that down to the bottom of that one, but let me check, let's see, because that would be 75. So, let's take a look here real quick. Oh, I don't have to draw that one. Less lines, less confusion. Okay. Because the only way that would be seen is if that was up into that. So, anyway. <coughs> so now, let me get rid of that line. Um, what I'm going to do with this line now is I'm going to rotate it on the center part and I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees. There we go. We are right in line with these guys here. So now we're going to offset that. Okay, offset distance. It's going to be 75. So I can go there. I can go there. Now, that's what we're going to use to cut that ridge. <clears throat> and next, that cut goes down 75. So, oops, get out of the command there. Click on these guys, and we're going to copy to 75. I'm going to click on there, or grab that spot, and then type in 75. Okay. So next, I'm going to delete that center line. Okay. Next, I'm going to... Delete or trim this and this. Next, I'm going to trim. Oh, gotta select that, that. That and that. Okay. So now we're going to go from the from the top down. Okay. <coughs> so we're going to start trimming, and we're going to use that and that and that. So. There, trim there, and next we're going to trim, trim, and trim on this guy. Not yet.
copy this guy down for me. I need to draw other lines. <coughs> I need to draw other lines. It's been a little while since I've drawn this one. Okay, next. Hmm, pardon me. There we go. That's much better. So, let me trim this guy down. And same with this guy. And let me get the base out of the way as well. That'll clear up some of that. Now we want to trim up this area up here. So seen and that won't be seen ah uh, that's something I did not do I need to bring this circle up as well to that point so let me uh, because this is the circle that we cut through I should have done that when I did that one there. So, I'm going to copy. I'm going to grab it right there. Let me look at the... Uh, I need to bring it up 75. That's not right. You can bring it up to 25. There we are. 
That doesn't look right either. Because it should be right at that point. Yeah, let's do this. Because this is how it should look. See if I can do a uh, extend. Nope, it won't let me. So. Because that is the base for this area right here. So now we're going to trim on that area. Okay. In fact, this one can actually just go away completely because we're not going to be seeing that. So. Won't see that, and we won't see that. We won't see that. In fact, that line can go away. I know this is going to take a little bit of time here, and I'm sorry. It's uh, it may seem to be dragging on. We won't see that line. Um, we can do some more trimming in this area. So we won't see that guy. And we won't see this here or here. Okay. Well, that's something else we won't see. We won't see this. see that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my center line because I really no longer need that I'll be getting rid of this line here in just a in fact I can do that right now because we really won't see that either we'll only see this portion of it so there's that that's the sunk down area, that's it. So, let's see. Oh, this line here. We won't see that guy. Okay. Now, let's do this right here. And we won't see that part. Now, I'm fairly certain, yeah, that's how it looks completed. Yeah, looks pretty good, too. So, we can go into our, I think that was a metric, yeah, that was definitely a metric drawing. 
This is our title block. Pan up. And I've already got it set to where it says not to scale. And half scale is big. We can hit scale to fit. It's a nice nice size right there. And sometimes if you want to uh, make sure you don't mess up you can always lock your viewport. That way with the viewport activated you can't uh, mess it up once you get the scale set to where you need it. And let's see anything else. Um, there's no need to dimension it. You really typically don't dimension isometric drawings. I mean, you can, but it's uh, it's more of a hassle. Uh, that's why we have the orthographic views. So let me know if you have any questions, any comments. Sorry it took so long, but uh, it's been a long time since I've done this drawing. So 22 minutes of your time spent. I hope you learned something. And let me know if you need me to do another drawing. Thanks a bunch.